Hey guys, Michael here, back with another video. Uh, it's been a long time, I've been busy with school, but uh, it's the summer now, so I have more time to make videos. So this is going to be an unboxing of the Lenovo IdeaPad 510S. Uh, it's going to be my new laptop for the next few years. I'm really excited because I have been using a very bad Sony laptop for the past while. Uh, I'm glad to be finally replacing it. So anyways, let's get started. Let's just get the box here. So there's a sticker over here. Let's get that. So there's a bit of foam and I can see the laptop here. So I'll put the specs uh, in the description. It's made of uh, some aluminum and plastic, so it's a good combination. And here's the laptop itself, I'll put it aside for now. And here's the charger. Um, yeah, it doesn't come with much actually. So there's just the laptop and the charger. And also a few guides over here. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think you care about it, just a bunch of guides. Anyways, let's, let's take a look at the laptop. Take it out of the plastic here. And wow, this is a really nice looking laptop. Let's just set it down here. Open it up. Wow, this seems like a really nice laptop. Um, it has an AMD R7 M460. So it's not the greatest GPU, but it should be enough for some light gaming and work. Uh, also, there is a webcam on it, if I can show it here. You can see it there. So uh, I'm just going to go plug this thing in, and we're going to do a first boot. Alright, so the laptop is plugged in, and now we're going to turn it on. This laptop does have a hard drive in it. It's a 1 terabyte 5400 RPM drive. I am going to be replacing this with an SSD I bought. Okay, so we're uh, finally done loading up. I'm just going to get the setup done, and then I'll be back. Oh, and uh, while I'm doing the settings, uh, they ask you a bunch of personalization settings, which are uh, about privacy. I recommend you turn all of them off, because uh, if you don't want Microsoft tracking everything you're doing, so that's what I'm going to do here. So you can see I've turned all these location and... Uh, customization settings off because they usually they just keep your data and send it all to Microsoft. I don't want them doing that. So I'm just going to continue with the process here. So yeah, just turn all this off. Anyways, the setup is finally done. I remember how slow a one terabyte 5400 RPM drive is now. I had one in my old laptop, but I made a video about it. Um, taking it out and replacing it with an SSD, so I will definitely be doing that. Um, also, I'm going to be removing all the bloatware too, but I'll be doing that all in another video. So, um, anyways guys, thanks for watching. Sorry for the long wait on uh, videos. I've been really busy with school. I finally finished high school, so that's a good thing. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be back for more. See you.